Do you know why Tesla investor Cathy Wood bets so much on Tesla? Well, some investors look at Tesla as an electric vehicle leader. ARK Invest thinks the company is an AI leader. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Tesla stock is up more than 100% so far this year. Elon Musk's company has been cemented as a leader in electric vehicles with the announcement of several significant partnerships with Ford, General Motors, Rivian, and Volvo, which will grant more people access to Tesla's network of superchargers. Earlier in June, Tesla went on a 13 days green stake, adding multiples uh, to its market cap. Now investors are a little divided on the surging electric vehicle company, with some such as Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas saying that it has more value as an electric vehicle first company. Others like KGI securities analyst Jennifer Liang think Tesla is an AI company, and on that, Cathy Wood is in full agreement. Wood has been super bullish on Tesla for a while now. She said in May that Tesla is the biggest AI play out there, confirming once again that she thinks the company is poised to see up to $10 trillion in revenue by 2030 through a currently non-existing autonomous taxi business. ARK Invest recently released new research which highlights the base reason ARK loves Tesla so much. The company is significantly scaling up its computing capacity. Tesla recently projected that by 2024, its compute capacity will hit 100 exaflops, which is 20 times higher than the 4.5 exaflops it mentioned in September. It is intending to scale its capacity from 14,000 NVIDIA A100 chips to the equivalent of 300,000 of the same chips. So major investors are looking at Tesla as an AI company. What I just said that in other words, Tesla may become one of the largest AI training companies in the work arc road. While it probably will continue to purchase hardware from NVIDIA, Tesla is likely to shift increasingly to its own hardware dojo to reach 100 exaflops of capacity at three times the performance of NVIDIA's A100 in October 2024. Before I tell you the rest of the story, I want to make two distinctions and um, one confession. I don't know what exaflop is. I guess it's a computing measurement for the, uh, computer data speed. And second, I'm not a Tesla investor. I am not in stock market at all. So this is just disclaimer, friends. So Tesla to, uh, Tesla to ARC is an AI play. That's probably why ARC owns so much stock in Tesla. ARC's innovation ETF alone owns more than 3.5 million shares valued at more than $860 million. Autonomous vehicles are robots. They will be electric and they will be powered by AI, Wood said in May. Each one of these is growing exponentially and then you have them feeding each other. This could be explosive growth. Dangerous growth? Good for humanity? Can they get out of control? I don't know. You tell me in the comment section, friends. This is Armin Haraya from TorqueNews.com. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Tesla is about to deliver a record performance in China, friends. How? I'm about to tell you. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haraya from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news as I'm bringing you daily breaking news about Tesla and electric vehicles. So Tesla is on track to deliver record sales performance in China as early days data show the automaker is still dominant in the world's biggest electric vehicle market. China has rapidly become the largest electric vehicle market in the world. With Gigafactory Shanghai, Tesla has established itself as a dominant player in the market, especially on the higher end of the market. But Several homegrown companies in China have since flooded the market uh, with more electric vehicle models and Tesla's market shares are expected to go down from 16 to 13 percent according to electric. Nonetheless, the volumes are higher and therefore it is enabled Tesla to still deliver record automotive sales in China. 
According to Shi Jai, an analyst with China Merchants Bank International Securities, and this is via Reuters, Tesla is on track to deliver 155,000 electric vehicles in China this quarter alone. With just a few days left in the quarter, the estimate is likely very close to reality as insurance data has been showing strong performance from Tesla in China. 155,000 deliveries would be up 13% from the previous record quarter, which was just last quarter. So 13% increase from the previous, record, uh, previous quarter. Despite the likely new record quarter, Tesla is seen as plateauing in the important Chinese market though. Yale Zhang, managing director at Shanghai-based consultancy Automotive Foresight, believes that Tesla needs to expand beyond China's biggest cities to keep growing, but he believes the cost of building service centers and stores could be stopping that from happening. Here's what he said. Tesla has to sell into China's lower tired cities to seek further growth, but its direct sales model would be too costly to expand its sales network in hundreds of such cities. Jean believes that's where companies like BYD hold an advantage through their dealership business. So it looks like Tesla has to go to these smaller cities, friends, and go beyond uh, China's biggest cities. What do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts and how expensive you think this may be. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. God bless you, everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next report. Tesla has officially started advertising on Google. This is verified via the ad transparency tool, which Google provides advertisers. Currently, about 18 Tesla ads are launched in the United States and the United Kingdom, and likely more is coming. I, myself, friends, use Google AdSense to monetize this YouTube channel and our automotive website, torquenews.com, and I just checked a few minutes ago there and saw the ads from Tesla. I assume very soon Tesla will start video advertising on YouTube, and who knows, perhaps in this Torque News channel, you will, um, if you, well, you will see some of them. So if you ever see one from from AdSense, uh, from the Tesla, please write in the comment section below. I'd be interested to watch because where I am and you are, we may be seeing different ads. Anyway, apparently Tesla advertising in on Google is such a big deal for Tesla and electric vehicle enthusiasts that Yashu Sharma's tweet, he is the host of Hit That Beat YouTube channel take, talking about Tesla stocks and other EVs. Anyway, so his tweet got nearly half a million views and went viral on Twitter today. You guys need to know that this is a big deal for Tesla and Google advertising because Tesla has never spent money on traditional advertising, with Musk saying he would rather spend the millions of dollars all other automakers spend in that category on making his products better. It is hard to argue with his rationale when seeing Tesla's growth over the year, leading to it becoming the most valuable automaker in the world. Instead of having an advertising budget, Tesla has relied on word of mouth, referral program, and other non-traditional methods to drive growth, and of course relied on Elon Musk. However, many Tesla enthusiasts and investors believe that can only take you so far. And to help custom, uh, counter the false narratives being spread about the company and to help promote the fact that a Tesla Model Y is now more affordable than the average car bought in the United States, among many other things. Elon Musk agreed to try some traditional advertising when asked by a shareholder at the annual shareholder meeting at Gigafactory Texas last month. It appears as though Tesla has now started dipping its toes into advertising, launching advertising campaigns in the United States and United Kingdom through Google Ads. First spotted by Twitter user Yashua Sharma, which I just mentioned, there are currently approximately 18 Tesla ads being run in both countries, according to Google's ad transparency tool. Among the topics being covered by Tesla in their first campaign is the Model 3, Model Y being best-selling vehicle in the United Kingdom, uh, the attractive pricing of the Model 3 and Model Y, the advantages of Tesla Solar, the supercharger network, and more. Here's a look at uh, all of the ads currently listed under Tesla's Incorporated, and you're seeing them on your screen as I'm talking.
According to the tool, these ads have been running since at least June 20, 2023. Some Tesla uh, fans and supporters might be disappointed in the company's first effort at, um, at advertising, but as Musk said on the stage at a shareholder meeting, the company will just try a little advertising and see how it goes. I will not be surprised if Tesla down the road hires more, uh, more people to do more sophisticated and better looking advertising. This is likely just the first of many ads that will be run through Google, likely expanding to other markets and other formats as they learn more about the performance of this initial run. There is also going to be a side effect of Tesla starting to advertise though. And that's all of the news coverage that will now be running on Tesla advertising for the first time, giving them even more exposure. Here is why Tesla advertising is important. With more electric vehicles hitting the market in higher volumes, the market is expected to become more competitive and automakers are expected to shift some of their advertising budgets, which are amongst the biggest of any industry from fossil fuel powered vehicles to electric vehicles. While Tesla has never done advertising, the automaker has been creating promotional material and marketing for a long time. Now it's actually paying for Google ad placement. And this is the first one. The next step is likely TV commercials and banner ads and uh, YouTube Tesla ads. If not, we can see that Tesla trying to boost its referral program again. Let me see your thoughts. What do you think about Tesla's advertising? Have you ever seen one? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and let's move on to other stories. God bless you.